Welcome back to Thunderbolt Apache Leader and day 4 in this Iran uh, general war campaign I'm doing. Um, I've laid out the battalions I'm facing uh, today like this. I noticed there's quite a glare there. Uh, I'm not sure what I can do about that, but maybe something like uh, this? No. Doesn't even... Ah, let's not bother. I'll just talk around that. Um, as you can see, these three are the, them, those three are here, four, and so on. Just to get a more of a feel for it here. Um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to hit at least one of those. Uh, the other one I'm, I'm thinking about hitting is the headquarters here. Uh, but that's a hard one, so I'm, I'm going to really need to focus, because subtract two from the move rolls of all battalions the day you destroy this battalion. So that one, if I destroy it, could mean I have a, a bit of a breathing room. But as you can see, there's a whole lot of shit in there. There's two AAAs, two AAA sites, two APCs, six buildings, two helicopters, two infantry, two sounds, two storage, and two trucks. So I'm going to need a lot of planes there. And there are weight point limits back there. I didn't save enough to have the refueling option. Um, so that might have to wait until tomorrow or another day. Well, anyway... Um, I'm thinking that the reserves here uh, are a good target. All the pilots in your squadron recover one stress when you destroy this battalion. I'm still, still struggling to get Thor back into the fight. And this will really help. Um, then it's just which of these I want to hit. The infantry force with a lot of infantry, or the tank one with the helicopters. I'm leaning towards hitting uh, the tank leader and the reserves right now, and letting the infantry force perhaps move up here and strike next time. But, um, well, I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. Well, let's see. I'm going to assign pilots in a way. So, you'll see that in a minute. And this is how I ended up with... Um, I ended up with what I discussed earlier. I'm going to hit the reserves and the tank later. And I'm going to use Rebel and Gator. Uh, both which have none, no stress and are fairly decent uh, against the tank leader and I'm gonna hit the reserves with Halo and Scuttle. They have a bit of... no I'm not gonna use... I have to use Thor at least. I see now. Uh, I'll show you the reason. The reason is two stress and after this mission he will be out. He need to get rid of that stress before he can fly again. So I'm gonna have to switch out before I commit to this. So it's gonna be Thor unfortunately because I really need to get him down but um, hopefully he'll recover one stress and only get one. Fingers crossed. Um, hopefully we'll destroy both of these. Um, I'm gonna start to hit the reserves and I'll set it up. And this is how it is set up. Also I'll allocate a scout. So I'm gonna see if he gets shot down. Eight. Where are we? Here are we. Plus three turns. One, two, three and minus one stress. That's awesome. Okay, I divided, um, 
argued with myself a bit if I should divide them and have Thor going this way and Skull going this way. But um, in the end I decided to, to uh, make some kind of beachhead here and then just storm downwards. Let's see how that works out. We start with pop-up cameras as usual, and there are none. Then we move to the enemy cover roll, and there goes the die again. No earthquakes, let's see. It's a 5, which means has destroyed units in hex. And I haven't started anything yet, so... Next up, fast pilots move. And we can start off with the drone, then scuttle. He is going to fire on both of these targets. Actually, he's going to move there first. And he's going to use a AGM on the Scud. Is he? No. He, he's going to use um, LAUs on both of them. He's going to do that. Uh, on the Scud first. As a 2 with plus 2 is a 4, so it's a hit. But the weapon is lost. Next up, the truck. As a 9, plus plenty, since the truck has plus 2. Next up is Thor. And Thor is going to move just one step, and he is going to fire an LAU-61 against the infantry. That's a 3 and a 4 flat, so the infantry is destroyed. That was the plus 1 attack for the A-10C. So. Enemy attacks uh, only the infantry has a range and he can't reach up here, so he advanced the loiter counter. Pop up an enemy cover roll. It's a 6 all infantry, which means this one is gonna go hide. That was unfortunate because I was more or less counting on taking those guys out from a distance. But, um, well, we'll work around that one. Scuttle, he is going to move here and he's gonna fire on that tank and that APC perhaps. Is he? Yes he is. He's gonna target those two. You start off with a tank. Uh, that's a negative 2 and he has a plus 2 so it's unmodified. So a 4 to hit and it's a 1. As a miss. And the APC it hits on a 2. So the APC is gone at least. And then Thor. What are you going to do? Are you going to go in there and take him out? Or are you going to go some other way. Now let's go some other way. Now we need to take out that one. Ah! Oh. Why did you make everything so complicated, infantry? I'm gonna move there. And I'm gonna take those LAU 61s and I'm gonna fire on the tank and on the infantry. Let's start with the infantry. A 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it's a still a hit. But I lost the weapon. I needed that one. And the tank. It's a 5, 6, 7, 8. 7, 6. So I lose the weapon, but I take it out at least. And... Did I move the drone? Uh, I don't think I did. Let's do that. 
And then the enemy attacks, and they cannot do that, so we advance the Lloyd counter. Uh, next turn, pop up, nope, cover roll. It's a four, destroyed units and hex. Uh, nope, won't matter. So it's the fast pilots, and uh, let's start with Scuttle, because it's going to move up here. And he's going to fire at that SPA. That's a 3, 4, 5, so it's a hit, but I lose the weapon. And then Thor is going go is gonna go to high altitude. What was I thinking? Uh, I was thinking to get that scud. Yeah, that's one and a two. And I'm gonna fire with my cannon. And uh, yep. That's a 2, and that's a hit, because I have a plus 2 on the cannon. And the drone is just going to circle over here. La 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 la. Nothing can attack me, so we advance the Lloyd counter. Now we draw the pop-up counters, because Thor had to go high. So let's see. What was it? No enemy. Enemy cover roll. It's a three. Same hex with aircraft. That won't do anything. And we are too fast, pilots. Let's just move you over here. Skull can't do much right now. Let's start with Thor, because he's gonna fire an AGM. 65 on that one. Um, he has a 2 to hit. Yep, it takes it out. And he's gonna move 1, 2. Then we can move up with Skull behind here. And we advance the Lloyd counter. Um, pop up cameras. No, not the damaged ones, the pop ups. What was it? No enemy! And you're just gonna go over here. Thor here. He is going to fire. How much do we need to like three? So I just need to hit one of those. But um, that's good if I can really knock him out. Let's do the APC first. As a five and a six, so it's taken out. The truck seven. Yeah, well, that's no problem. And then Thor is going to low altitude, and he was going to low altitude before. If I should stick to the rules. And uh, Skull, well you can move home. And we advance the loiter counter. No pop-ups, enemy cover roll. It's a four, destroyed units and hex, nope. Skull moves away. You can move here. And Thor, well, just to make sure his, he gets his last XP, he uses a Maverick and takes him out and moves away. And then another Lloyd counter and the UAV. That's a perfect mission. Really, really good mission. Uh, good rolls and uh, yeah, three fresh experience points. And an additional special option points. Yay, because we destroyed it. 
I'm going to remove it, and it's just one victory point, but one important victory point because we, now we're at zero. Now we can start earning points. Uh, I didn't do this one actually, I, um, the special condition for today. Gain four SO points or replace one aircraft to pilot for free. I can't replace anything, so four SO points. Let's see what happens on the way back. You may freely repair one damage on each aircraft returning from the mission. Well, they aren't damaged. So at least it wasn't anything bad. And uh, I'm going to clean this up and set up for the next mission. And this is how it looks set up. Uh, it posed somewhat problems. As I, as I said before, I want to use AH ones as uh, the anti-air ones. And the helicopters were so spread apart. But I think I got a plan at least now. Because uh, the helicopters are going to go for the, the drone. Uh, if I want to use the fast ability. And I, I thought about using uh, him at low altitude, but that wasn't especially good either. So I'm gonna try with this. Gator's gonna take out that helicopter, then move up here or down here. Yeah, somewhere. Rebel's gonna take out that command so we don't get fired upon. And the drone is going to go this way. Uh, the helicopter is going to see the drone, go for it, either here or there. But uh, the ridges block the low flying aircrafts, and he has only a range of one. So if the, the drone stays here, uh, we should be okay. Then next turn, Gator can uh, take down the helicopter. I hope. <laughs> It's gonna have to pop up to high altitude, but uh, we're gonna do have to do that anyhow. So, well, let's see how that works out. Pop up counters, nope. Enemy coveralls, no. It's a nine. One hex with the most active. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. I was hoping to take those out with the long range. Oh, um. I have a plus one on attack rolls during the first loyal turn. So, Rebel here, he is going to move over there and he's going to fire. Ah, he's going to go into that hex and he's going to fire his cannon. With a plus one, it's two, three, four, oh, that's five, it's an automatic hit at least. Gator. It's gonna fire at that helicopter, and oh, with a plus one. Oh, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna fire two. I'm gonna miss on one. Oh, still worth it. And Gator is moving here into a hover, and the drone here. And. Uh, then the enemy attacks, and they can't see us and can't fire upon us, but the helicopter's gonna move, and he's gonna move towards that one. I think this route is the closest one. But I can't see Gator because of the ridge, and can't fire upon uh, the drone either. So we advance the Lloyd counter, and we roll a and one hex emerges. Now we're talking. Yes, exactly what what I needed. So the drone is moving here, and Gator is popping up to high altitude. And he's going to fire on those guys, and he's going to fire two anti-air, and he is firing one AGM. Let's see, a 3, it's a 1 for a miss. That's a dead helicopter, I should remove that, should be there. And let's roll for that command unit. It's a 6, that's plenty. 
Now Rebel, you have your cue to go over here. Then you are going to fire. How much do we need you to get down to? Down to four, which are those. As it happens, let's see what I have. Plus two. If I fire those on there, I'm going to fire the AGMs on the, the AAA as well. Just to get rid of them. Um, that should be an automatic hit because they don't have anything uh, negative. The tanks, on the other hand, let's see. I have a plus one, a plus one, a so plus two, and they have minus two. Oh, automatic hit there as well. Expensive, but well worth it. Why did I move Gator? No. Oh, that's a problem for next turn. Because that's where we are now. And we're going to draw a pop-up camera. We're going to do two of them. Since we have high altitude. The first one and the second one. Which one did I draw? No. Those one. It's an APC and an O enemy. Let's see where the APC ends up. In hex number six. Right underneath. That's not good. Oh, I can work around it, I think. Yep, we're gonna work it. Enemy cover roll. Not valid. Into the trade goes. Three, same hex, the APC goes there. Well, we're gonna have um, Rebel kill him. Gator. He's not going to move first. Rebel is going to move first. And he's going to fire on that APC with his cannon. Is he? Yes, he is. It's a 7. It's taken out. And he is going to move. 1. And 2. Gator is going to low altitude. And he is going to move. Is he going to move? Into that. Oh, let's see. Move up that one. Can he take it out? Well, we're gonna try at least. He's gonna fire his hellfire on that tank. Let's see. It's a three, it's a four, which means it would have been a hit unless it had a minus two modifier. Oh well, nothing to do. We need to get out of here anyway. Next round, pop up cameras again. No enemy. So, let's have the drone move here. Let's have Rebel fire both of these on that tank. Nine, destroy it and get to keep. Nine, same thing, that's good. Good, let the tank destruction flow through. It's gonna move two. Gator is gonna move here and he's gonna use his cannon. Uh, no, he's not, and he's an 11, so that's useless. Uh, enemy gonna attack and they're gonna attack with one yellow against Gator and no strike. Ah, but it's the green AH1. So we're good. Slow, advanced Lloyd counter. And draw pop-up counters. Rebel is still flying high. I don't know why he's doing that. No enemy. Yeah. Maybe it's because I ha hate ridge rolls even more than I hate pop-up counters. Um, drone is going to exit. Gator is going to retire from battlefield. 
Rebel is going here and he is going to fire both of the LAU's rocket pods on that tank. Let's see. That's a six. That's plenty. Uh, let's see. It's a plus two. It's minus two. It's a six. I don't keep the weapon. And let's see if I get to keep the other. It's an eight. I get to keep it. And second step. I move away. And this one moves away. Well, I won't complain about this mission. It went perfectly actually. Could have been better. Um, let's see. What does the homeward bound? Supply priority. Gain one SO point if destroyed the battalion. Yep, I did that. And I get another for uh, the Iran campaign for destroying. So up to six. And I'm going to set up for end of day. No fly stress recovery is done. Uh, I also remembered to uh, do this little special uh, recover one stress after I destroyed that battalion. So it looks like this at the moment. Oh, I forgot to put out this one. All other planes are in perfect shape. Uh, and I'm going to gain special option points, which makes me come up to 10 points. Then we have to move the enemy battalions. And let's see if the 1A here will move up. I'll put this here as a reminder that assault battalions get negative 2. As to 0, he is actually moving back. He's getting afraid here. The 2A. So four, that's a two, so he stays. The seven A, five is a three, also a hold. Then we have the eight A as a one, he's gonna move back. And the six A, it's a seven, it's a five, he's moving up. Then we have the five A, it's a six, it's a four, he is holding. I think he's been stuck back there all game long. The other two S, they have a negative one. So it's a six, but it means he'll advance, no? He'll stay there. The four S, the three S has a negative four in total. Zero, so he's gonna move back. And then the four C at the end is nine. He's gonna move up. Oh, I do feel lucky with these dice roll since they are just keeping themselves back there I ain't losing no special option points for that replacements no need repair aircraft yeah hell yeah I'm gonna move this structure to where it belongs in the box then we have uh, the priority R and R, which I'm gonna do since I feel really rich right now. I have nine points, seven points there, which means I can remove two stress from each pilot. And now it's starting to look extremely good. The only thing I have a bit of a problem with is my victory points. Let's see here. I have, uh, you can see this, 5, 7, 10, 14, 15, 19 points, uh, which means I have plus 4. Uh, and I'm halfway through the campaign. And as you can see on this, I'm still at the dismal. Well, I want to get up at good at least, so I need 18 more points. So the next day I will have to start hitting more valuable targets, I think. Let's see what we have. We have the infantry force, that's interesting, it's 5 points. We have the tank force, also 5 points. 
We have the tank spearhead for six points. Yeah, let's do that one. Uh, we have the headquarters and the mounted infantry for four. Uh, well, I think these are the ones I want to hit. Maybe go for those two. Let's see, where are they? One and two. They're at the front line, together with the tank force. Well, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Take care. Bye-bye.